battery problems. Ooh, nice fresh battery. Yeah, I had two bags. Um, I bought stuff for a friend and he just took it and bunks. So what I have here is my stuff. Um, again, I didn't pick up much because I did this stuff I was looking for just wasn't in stock or I just could not find it like I don't know like I went back looking for these wipes because I got them last time and they were like nine dollars couldn't find these and as well I hear about shopping and peg wipes like one day you see it the next day you don't and I just I still have to get wipes like right now my life is just tragic 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 I, I don't know what to say so um did pick up a couple of things again in one of the world but I didn't I went to um the one on Frederick Street apparently they refurbished it and they expanded it so of course me being very late to the game I like couldn't find half the stuff I was looking for only picked up a few items so and it was expensive like I yeah so much so so much so the um the cashier was like you know these are like X dollars I was like mm -hmm, yeah I know I know I only picked up five things um the first being one of these room sprays from um Bath and Body Works I like the mahogany teak wood because it smells like a guy so I'm using this in like my room. This is like highly concentrated. This is like 45 TT for it. It retails for 750 US. So when you do the conversion rate, it's actually cheaper to buy it here than to order it online and ship it, pay shipping and duties. So if you're looking to get like these room sprays, you know they also have the candles and stuff too you can check them out I probably will you know do a dedicated bath and body works haul from there as opposed to buying it online but this this smells really good this smells like if I'd have to describe this scent I would say this smells like Idris Elba manly and sexy and this story <laughs> And then the last things I got, which is what I was looking for in the wonderful world at West Mall, and it's either they A did not have it at that point in time, or B Colleen couldn't find it. But Colleen picked up every nude Milani lip amore shine she could think of here, and these retail for 80 TT which I find is ridiculous but I think these are like 9 US so when you do the calculation I guess yeah I don't know whatever it just makes more sense to get them here so I got addiction temptation any hmm, names tenderness and Foxy sexy. Let me um take off the protective wrapping because I think I might just get all I don't know. But I've really been into like this is what the applicator looks like. I'm really into like the glosses now. Ooh, that is pretty. So that is foxy. I get the others so yeah I've really been into like the glosses now I've given the liquid lipsticks a break you know and these remind me of the um, Anastasia lip glosses this is tenderness here yeah, it's a little peachier again my jam <laughs> you know, um, this is temptation. You know, if I could get the seal off. Oh boy, eh. 
So you'll be seeing these in some looks, upcoming looks. Ooh, this one nice. This is a deeper, a deeper nude. That is temptation there. Alright. And last but not least, um, who is this? Addiction. These names, boy. I don't know what Milani trying to tell us. But I am listening, Milani. <laughs> yeah, they had some other pretty colors, um, like the purples and the reds. I might quicker go for a red than a purple. But you know me and my nudes, like Colleen and nudes is like. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so I think I picked up most of the nudes because then there were the pinky nudes, and I was like, mm. I was going for more of the brownie news. There's addiction here. Addiction. So those are like the four nudes that I picked up and those were like 80, 80 TT, which is, yeah. But they retail for like nine US on the um, website. So I'm really excited to try these out. Right. And then going into Pennywise because I didn't buy much and I spent a whole set of money and I'm like, what's going on? I think there's a conspiracy. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. You know how it's been. But I've been watching a lot of hair care videos, particularly like wigs and stuff. And I realized like my old my flat iron and my curling iron just went kaput they, they were old like more than I would say five years old which is good you know so I decided to pick up a new flat iron so I got this Remington what the hell are you working for? okay it's a Remington titanium protection coating long ceramic plates um, flat iron this cost 195 TT and this is the one inch flat iron um, it has up to 110 no 410 degrees Fahrenheit ceramic plates titanium coating digital controls heats up in 30 seconds I think they're missing the S there anyway and auto shut off and it has a two year warranty on this so yeah i found the wig that i want to get so i want to like order that and let's see if i can get you off bro like i want to i want to open it <laughs> and yes it's purple i love purple all right I want to like get you off and struggle with packaging is real so yeah so you know when you're buying tools your money oh yeah you continue digging bro yeah so let's just see what it looks like I need a bigger one though. Oh, and it's a swivel, swivel um, cord, which is good. But I think I need a, a bigger one, like a, a two inch. So I'll have a look for that. But I like this. This looks swanky. Right. Let me just make sure not to throw away the, um, the instructions. Because we have a bigger one, so we need to find a bigger one. Maybe another branch, perhaps, perhaps. And yeah, I said like my flat iron curling one. So I looked for a tiny curling one, not for curls necessarily, but to like smooth down my edges and kind of bump things a little bit, but not really to curl because I don't know. I find yeah. So I got this one from Conair. This one is $79 TT and it's a 
5 8 inch curl so that's going to be a, a tight curl I can't get you out though but this is what it looks like um, again this is 79 dollars um, to me sometimes buying those tools locally makes more sense than buying it online you know just say just say um, I did get some toiletries so I'll just run through with that quickly um, just topped up on soaps um, I like this scent this is the only um, fresh out last um, four pack bars um, cooling white strawberry and mint this smells really nice how much you cost Safe Combia and you cost 36 dollars so 37 Fifty dollars there. I was looking for the bigger ones, but they only had the ones I already have, and I still have in those. And I wanted a different scent and go up weird like that. But that's just me. Um, I have to pick up more toothpaste. You know, the mundane. Um, I repurchased this. This is the argan oil hair and scalp conditioner by. Hey, this TCB long time right? And this is a this is a repurchase for me. This smells so nice. Oh. Yeah, this is really for like Amaya and Lani's hair. They um, their hair is very dry. So things with vitamin E oil and olive oil. It's to kind of condition the hair and stuff like that. So I repurchased this for them. And then I repurchased my Dove Invisible Dry deodorant because I like this. I like I like the scent and I love the fact that this does not go on my black clothes. Yeah, you continue drilling, girlfriend. And then the rest of the stuff is stuff that I got because you guys would have mentioned it. And when I say you guys, um, people from the beauty chat room group you know um, so of course you know when girl was looking for some stuff didn't find everything um, I had to repurchase the L'Oreal um, Lash Paradise Mascara I prefer to get the regular versus the waterproof because I find the waterproof um, is a little more Harsh on your lashes, it actually kind of like destroys it in a way because if you take it off, you might, you know, remove your real lashes, and I really not about that. So I got this, and this cost um, 58 TT, and this is the cheapest you'll get it um, in Pennywise. I think other places is like 70 or 80 TT. So I prefer to buy my mascaras from Pennywise just because it's mascara, you know. Um, next thing I purchased, which was a repurchase, is the um, LA Girl um, Pro Matte High Definition um, Foundation in the shade Caramel. This was actually the last caramel in the display. Um, it was ridiculous because I've been looking all over the place for this. None of the wonderful wheels in and around my area actually have this shade anymore. It's either extremely light or dark, but not the in-between shades. So I'm kind of happy I got this because you'll see it in an empties coming up. I don't know which video is coming first, if it's the empties or the haul. But I used this out, like I bought it a while back and I, it was my foundation for that entire period since getting it and I've used it up completely so I'm happy I was able to get another one. Um, I got um, the LA Girl um, gel liner in black. Um, I was looking for a gel liner and I said why not this one because it's cheap. It's Titi Titi for it. If it could come out. Oh, let me go on the next side. Clear. Okay, um, how are we getting you out? 
Oh. Alright. I think the packaging is real. Alright, now I use the brown gel liner, which is the spot here. Um, I use it for my brows and it works pretty nicely, but I will use this eyeliner gel liner on to do wing liner. Haven't had a gel liner in quite some time, so this will be fun to use, you know. Um, so that is that, and of course, I got the LA Girl Brow Pomade in brown. What color are you? I think it's in brown. Oh, soft brown. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. I was looking for dark brown. I guess this is makeup gods too. Huh? Now, no angry bird brows, right? You know, from time to time, we all have angry bird brows. So. And I think this too costs to 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 If I can get it out the box, I'll just rip this box. Nobody's gonna cry. So yeah. So this is it here. This is a soft brown. God, it looks a little topiish though. Maybe I can mix this in. This in with this gel liner here because this one's. So I have these two to hold me in terms of the brow department. I give them pencils a bit of a, um, a ease up, you know. So that is that. And last but not least is the liquid LA Colors liquid eyeliner. Um, I think I saw somebody in the group. I can't remember who talk about these. These are like 13 TT and I needed a liquid liner because my fave liquid liner, which is the NYC, is Dunzo. And I have no more in that. Ooh, let's just see. That's the brush there. Let me see. It's not as nice and sleek as the NYC. Right now, this looks a bit scary though. Let's test you out. It's not as thin as I would like it to be, and the brush is a bit on the long side. Is it possible I could swap out the brush or? NYC liner, the LA Glue, because the brush on the NYC, if you can see it here, that is the bomb.com. Let's see if I could do that. Will it fit? Yes, it does. Look how tiny. But I'm think I'm keeping the brush. <laughs> I know it's a little ratchet, but I'm keeping the brush. Especially if there's a good liner, right because the liquid itself is nice. It's a good matte consistency. I just, I just don't like the brush. Yeah, yeah. We could do a switcheroo situation here, you know, and get exactly what it is we want at the end of the day. So I think that is that. So that is that for this um, haul. It's a very small haul, but of course a lot of money. I don't feel as if I went on a serious shopping spree, but I do have a couple things I still need to feature in a in another haul. I really don't like doing too many hauls, um, especially when I want to try stuff out because when I haul too much, then I get a little too overwhelmed with products, you know, <laughs> rambling. But yeah, so that is basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment in comment section below and tell me if you find Pennywise is getting too expensive as well. Let me know if it's not just me. I don't think it's just me. I think Pennywise is getting too expensive. 
and I will be using um, these feature, um, products that I featured in an upcoming look and I'll tell you my thoughts on it as usual tell you if it's worth the coins or not and until next time bye